China's manned space program has been planned in three steps. The launch of Tiangong-1 is part of the second step aimed at building a solid foundation for China's first space station. The first task for China's manned space program was the launch of an actual manned spacecraft. The flight by spacecraft Shenzhou-5 and 6 marked the success of the first phase. The second phase aimed to break through the technical difficulties of docking two spacecraft together. China also hopes to build and launch a manned space laboratory as part of this phase. The first spacewalk conducted by Shenzhou 7's crew marked an important milestone, while the upcoming launch of the space station module Tiangong-1 and the spacecraft Shenzhou 8 through 10 will mark the end of the second phase. The achievements and expertise built up in these initial stages will lay the foundations for Phase 3. Tiangong-1 is an eight-ton space laboratory module and is viewed as a springboard to a real space station. The docking port and dedicated measurement and communication equipment are what will enable spacecraft to dock to it. During the module's two-year lifespan, Shenzhou 8, 9 and 10 are each expected to dock and conduct tests. According to the three-step plan, the future Tiangong-2 and Tiangong-3 will conduct even more advanced research and experiments. These are both space laboratories. Tiangong-2 will focus on Earth observation, space science and aerospace medicine, while Tiangong-3 will conduct orbital experiments and develop techniques to make space freighters safer and more economical. China's first space station will be multifunctional, conducting experiments and observations. They will even try to cultivate new varieties of vegetables and fruit and create new materials by taking advantage of the zero-gravity environment. These missions are scheduled for 2020. David Keaton, CCTV.